Hey guys, find your passion with Head Girl here. I've been thinking what to do this weekend, and I decided I was going to go in a different direction. Go pick up this rental car. I think I'm going to try to find uh, some kind of waterfall. As long as the days look like this, beautiful, beautiful days, then uh, <clears throat> if I could find a waterfall, I could practice uh, some long exposures on it. So I think that's what I'll do. Take a couple of days. Nice weekend. Okay, National 11. This is the vehicle. It's mid size. They wanted uh, something like 38 bucks for the full size vehicle. And uh, that was with limited mileage. So I decided to get a central mid size. Looks pretty good. This is my walk around, and I'll have it for posterity. Looks nice, been clean. Tires look freshly laundered. Uh, looks like a pretty nice car. I don't see any damage, any visible damage on it. Okay, so I think I'll hit somewhere up north by about 12 o'clock. It's getting on about 9 o'clock now, so let me do it on it. Get my bearings. See what I'm gonna do here. Well, guys, I think I got this thing finally set up. Oh! So my turn is kind of that Okay, just clarified when I need to bring it back Sunday, 845. So I think I'm set up now. I'm gonna head on so out. I got a full tank of gas. I'm gonna have to get on GPS here in a minute. Let's see where we're going. I think that even though I've been able to take some images uh, around the house and close by, I I really believe that changing perspective of where you are changes how you view things, you know, as uh, uh, over overall. So I believe that it, it's good to go to different oops hold on it's good to go to different locations and take different scenes and as a somebody developing then it, for me it's crucial that I try a lot of different uh, genres a lot of different uh, aspects of photography to really know where I am my thing is this, being a beginning photographer, I have absolutely no idea what I should be doing except for the fact that I have to take some images. Each genre has different uh, uh, levels. So at this point right now, landscapes for me I don't have to worry about a model release. I don't have to worry about a property release. And I can take those images that I like and practice on composition, practice on exposure. And for me, submitting to Adobe, Shutterstock, and Dreamstime is just a way to proof my work, to make sure 
that I'm technically correct. So, all I know is this. As far as learning how to be a photographer, I believe I am a photographer. What I need to do is learn how to manipulate my equipment. And once I do that, I think everything else will fall into place. Now, as far as being a presenter, a influencer, a someone on YouTube that you can go to and rely on their expertise or their knowledge or their recommendations or reviews, that's a situation where I believe I have to first develop those skills and the only way to do that is by being online so with each video I think I'm understanding exactly how to place content and that's my goal just being able to put out a quality uh, video that has some value to someone now As far as the level, the quality level of the content so far, I know that I've been kind of slacking. I know that a lot of things, uh, shots not right, or the, the lighting not right, or the audio horrible. Like my last video, I think the audio was horrible because I forgot to bring an external mic. And even though I believe that the microphones on the Canon Rebel T6 is a very excellent on-camera microphone for most things. Windy conditions will defeat almost any microphone. So I'm not going to hold that against the Rebel. But, oh, wow, that's pretty. Now see that and see it, but it's, in, it's so deep inside the yard that you can't actually take it you know, without a long lens. Plus, I'm, I'm going someplace else because I'll be there when I come back. I've gotten some good shots from this street right here. I'm gonna stop into the store before I go. I don't need any gas, but I do need some snacks. I figure it's gonna take about three to four hours depending on where I go.
yeah as you can see really dark room small very small but for a hundred bucks for one night the only thing that I'm displeased about is the uh, the breakfast was non-existent so days in will not be another choice of mines for okay guys I just wanted to let you see the images that I submitted from my last photo shoot and uh, show you the, the variance between the different stock agencies and how they moderate the images that you submit now to date, Shutterstock has accepted, I think, 14 of the images that I submitted, and Adobe has accepted 10 of the images that I submitted. Now, DreamsCon and Pickfair have accepted all of the images, approved all of the images that I submitted so far from that photo shoot. But, I want to show you a variance in some of the moderation between Adobe stock and Shutterstock. Shutterstock, if you look at the review content that I submitted, had an issue with these two uh, strawberry images. One was for post-production technique something was wrong with the post-production technique on this image and the other one was for exposure it wasn't correctly exposed okay so let's look at Adobe stock. These are the same two images that have been approved by Adobe stock. No issue. No post-production issue. No uh, exposure or focus issue. Let's look at this image. This is a panorama of the Zib Street Bridge. Adobe stock has accepted, approved, and placed this image online. But when you look at Shutterstock, this image was said to have trademark issues. And I don't, I don't, it's a beautiful image. I mean, it's perfectly exposed, perfectly focused, white balance is perfect. It's a gorgeous image. So I just don't know. But this is what you have to go through when dealing with stock agencies. They won't accept the issue, but then the next agency will accept the issue. So it's hard to, to tell what to do. So you try to make it as perfectly correct as possible. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that, let you see where it's going. I haven't sold any of them yet, but usually it takes a while before you sell them. I've been selling consistently on, uh, on Shutterstock. Right now, I'm selling about one or two images every month so far. Uh, for uh, the month of March, I've sold two images. Uh, in 2018, I sold the image, at least one image every month. So that's just just to show you, it's not a whole lot of money, but it proves that you can make money, and that's the proof of concept is a powerful thing to know that you can make money. Anyway, let's get back to the video, guys. I'm gonna take you on a trip to Arkansas.
Well guys, found a beautiful spot. The right type of grass, the right type of background. A huge vista. With some hills, small hills in the back. Over here, looks like a tree farm. Just getting started. But. Well, the rains came in, so today's Saturday kind of ruined the plans that I had for uh, getting out and getting some landscapes. Well, what I think I'll do is I'll just see what, which way the rain is going, how long it'll last, and then I'll uh, go the opposite direction. Should be some beautiful skies and some really nice sunsets behind this rain. They also said it's gonna be cold, so. Anyway, this is Hot Springs, Arkansas. I went to Cross Creek yesterday when I pulled in to Arkansas. And it uh, it overwhelmed me. It, it underwhelmed me in one way and overwhelmed me in another way. Getting there is a monster, and I still don't believe I got all the way to the end of the little trail.